Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we're going to play with statistics. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we begin today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Your membership and sponsorship really means a lot. Thank you. And now let's get back to video. Statistics sensor platform allows you to do math or counts with the states from other sensors. It allows you to pull the mean value as a state, but also as additional attributes you can pull count, mean, median, variance, total, minimum value, maximum value, minimum age, maximum age, etc. The great thing about statistic sensor is that it also allows you to track or count the binary sensor states change. So for example, you, if you would have a door sensor, then you can also track changes as a counter. If you are using recorder component or history component, it will allow you to pull the data for the statistic sensor as soon as there is data available from the database. You can also limit the time range for the sensor. So, for example, if I want to calculate my mean value for the ECO2 and also track the maximum and minimum value, I would use statistic sensor. On the other hand, if I want to track how many times a day the door was open, I can also use this on the binary sensor. Let's get cracking with this integration. Let's go to File Editor. Sensor. And here we will add statistics platform. Let's go to the bottom. We shall add a new comment. Statistics. Platform. Statistics. And here we will specify what information we want to get statistics for. Let's press save and let's go to our developer tools. What we can do here is we can see all the entities that are sensors and select the ones that we want to track. Let's use temperature sensor, so weather underscore temperature. Let's also use Synology CPU load total. Let me copy this. So we will create two sensors. We will also try to track a binary sensor. For binary sensor, for example, we can track the binary sensor ISS. Let's go to File Editor. And let's continue configuring this integration. So entity id equals let's paste here this value cpu load total and let's create an additional sensor for the binary sensor platform statistics entity ID and this one will be binary sensor ISS. As I said previously, we could here use maximum age of the data, meaning that we want to use only data for the last hour. So this could be max age minutes equals 60 and this means that we want to track only last 60 minutes of the data available in the system this could be potentially more appropriate for the Synology so let me put this here other options that are available to you are sampling size Let's say that this could be 20 
This means that even if the database contains more than 20 sensor entries, we will only pull latest 20 values. Next thing that you can also do is use precision. Here you can specify value that will allow you to track specific number of uh, decimal spaces. So we are now tracking two decimal spaces. Sampling size and precision are better off for other sensor, not binary sensor, as binary sensor will only provide us with the counter. So let's add here temperature. Entity. ID and sensor weather temperature. Let's save this. So we have created now three different statistical sensors. One will be tracking the Synology CPU total load and it will only pull data for the last 60 minutes. The other one will be pulling data for the binary sensor ISS, but since this is a binary sensor, it can only count how many times the binary sensor has changed state. And the third one is the weather temperature, meaning the outside temperature, where we want to pull only the 20 latest values the sensor has recorded with the precision of two decimal spaces. Let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration, and let's restart our home assistant. Statistic sensor is really great. It allows you to track all the data that you would normally have to calculate by yourself internally inside Home Assistant. You can see, for example, what is the standard deviation, what is the median, what is the million value, maximum value, how many samples account for the changes, etc. You, of course, can also do automations based on the attributes but also by using those statistical values, you will also be able to tweak your home assistant for your better use. If we now go to overview, fun stuff. Let's press configure UI, add, and we can now add three entities. Stats, stats two, and stats three, save. This is my test setup. Unfortunately, there is a not large enough database here, but nevertheless, we can see that some parameters have been changing. Let's press on this one, two, this is a counter. This one still doesn't have information inside and neither does this one. Of course, what you can do is you can name them. Let's try naming them. Name Synology CPU stats. This will be ISS counter stats and this one will be temperature stats by giving them specific names it will be easier for you to later on find them and add them to your user interface let me quickly restart server couple of restarts later and I also added up additional CO2 stats sensor. We can see that now our statistic information has filled in. So let's check what we get for each individual sensor. For the Synology CPU stats, we see that we have sampling size of 20, four counts, mean value is 55.25, Median value is 51.5, minimum was 18, and the maximum value was 100. Let's check the other sensor. So this counter is only giving us uh, counts 
because this is binary sensor. It doesn't help us a lot with this action. Unfortunately, on my test machine, I do not have a motion sensor or door sensor. Uh, this one just gives us information when the sensor state was, let's say it like that, not changed, but reloaded. For the temperature stats, we can see that we have a minimum maximum value. We have counts, how many times it changed. We also can see that we have mean and median value, which are the same variance and things like that. The change is negative, meaning that the temperature is getting lower, which of course is normal since this is now evening. And let's look at the CO2 stats. We should have more samples here. Yes, we have more than 20 samples, but we are only uh, counting or using 20 last samples. We can see that the change is also negative value. It is dropping. We had maximum value of 1756 with the minimum value of 1468, which is also our current value. For the statistic freaks or everybody that likes statistics, this is really great and helpful sensor. It allows you to track, as I said, uh, air quality inside your apartment. You can see what was the maximum minimum value based on that values. If you track them for a longer period of time, you can decide when you want to have your air conditioning or heating turned on or off or ventilation. Also, you can use this for the door sensor or for the motion sensor and track if you have too many motions then you can maybe prolong the time that the sensor is triggering light and things like that but this is it for this edition of home assistant how to i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give me thumbs up it really means a lot if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates and i'll be seeing you next time until then bye bye and have fun